Hi, my name is Josh Hinkle, engineer for the Raider Network, and today we're going to give you a tour of the Raider Network trailer. So this is the Raider Network trailer. It's a 2016 trailer. It's a 21 foot total length. It's uh, 18 feet box and then a three foot V nose. We're just gonna give you a quick tour on the outside and then we'll go inside and show you the positions and what we do. So this is the Raider Network trailer. Like I said, it's 18 feet box, three foot V nose. So 21 foot total. Uh, you'll see we have a mini split and a jack on the, the front. This is just a normal trailer. So we hook into the back of a truck to pull. This mini split was an add-on after uh, a year or two when we realized we needed a little more AC inside. Um, let's go around the side of the trailer. So this is the driver's side. Uh, you'll see here is the only door on uh, this side. So this is what we call our patch panel door. This is where all of our IO for the trailer is. Uh, it's a little messy right now. When it was originally built, it was a little cleaner, but this is where we plug in every single camera, all the fiber for audio, for video, for comms. Uh, everything for the trailer gets plugged into here when we go to a game uh, or an event. So keep going around. You'll see as we keep going around, there's a back door. This back door is a hinge door uh, to get into the back of the trailer, just like any trailer would. This door basically stays locked. Uh, we came through a few iterations of the trailer when we first built it. We'll go over the history in a, in a little bit, but uh, that back door was once originally used. Now it just stays locked in, and it really is not opened. As we keep going, you'll see there's a power plug here. This is a 30 amp power plug. Um, for the few places that we park it on campus, we have 30 amp uh, receptacles that we can plug into, but this 30 amp power plug powers the whole entire trailer. So it's gonna power our AC units, it's gonna power our lighting, and it's gonna power all the equipment. There is some power limitations, um, and when we get to some of our bigger broadcasts, we will pull some extension cords just to offload some of the power for, for some of our equipment. We run uh, a lot of equipment on the inside, you'll see in a second. We have another pass-through outlet here that we can run, and another little uh, panel here that we can run some wires through if we need to. Uh, keep on going. We have the front door, so we'll actually go in the inside in just a second. But this is the door to the main trailer. You'll see on the inside, we'll go in there in just a second. But this is how we enter and exit the trailer. At the very top, you'll see there's lighting. So this is LED lighting for the trailer. It's built on the 12 volt battery system. So we don't have to be connected to a generator or shore power for that to work. So that's more really our work lights for after a game or an event. We can turn those on and have lighting uh, while we're hooking up the trailer, while we're powering down everything. We could just have lighting to be able to see. So that's kind of the trailer tour for the outside of the trailer. Now let's go in the inside. So we're now inside the production trailer. This is the door that you saw on the outside that we showed you on the outside. That's where we come into. When you come in on the right, there's a little desk here that we can put some random stuff on, food or really anything can be put here with a ton of drawers for storage. Now I'm gonna go over kind of positions in the trailer. Let's just go through them real quick and then we'll go into detail in later video. So first is the replay station. This replay station is meant for a person to be able to sit down, see all cameras coming in, record all of them, and choose which cameras we wanna play back out for people at home to see. Uh, this person could also make packages. So let's say a person has a really good game, we wanna show three of their best clips back to back to back. This person's also in charge of that. So they're constantly looking at a whole bunch of angles, they're backing up, rewinding, slow-mo. It's a lot of fun, it's a really cool position. The second position is our technical director and our director station. And a lot of trucks, bigger trucks, this person's two people, but obviously we're a little bit smaller operation. So this person is in charge of what is currently on air. They're also in charge of talking to the cameras and talking to everybody in the trailer so that everybody's on the same page. So in this case, this person would say something like ready one, take one, ready three, take three, ready replay, effects, roll replay. This person's directing the show and they're also pressing the buttons to make what they're saying happen. So let's keep moving. Uh, producer position is next. So this producer position doesn't really have any hardware in front of them. They're, they're the kind of brains of the operation. They're the ones that are gonna be having a script in front of them. They're gonna be talking to our talent uh, in the booth and making sure they know which direction we're going. And they're kind of leading the overall storyline for the whole entire trailer and all the crew inside of it. This next position is our graphics position. This person is the one who makes the graphics for the on-air screen. They make the mini board, they make any of our lower thirds, our bottom line. Uh, really any graphic text or information that needs to be displayed, they're the ones who are making it and giving it to the producer and director to show on the screen. The next position over here is our engineering position and this position also runs our score bug. So I told you this is a graphics position uh, on the other side. 
These two kind of work in tandem. Our graphics position is gonna make more of our lower thirds and statistical information, while our score bug operator is gonna run just what you think of, just the score bug. So the data on the score bug, the score, the time, the down and distance, if it's, if it's football, uh, fouls, if it's basketball, stuff like that. They're gonna run all of that from this position. position. The uh, engineer can also come here and they can change things in the, in the trailer, whether it's routing or multi-views or really recording anything that can happen in the trailer. This position is also for engineering. It's a two-in-one position uh, and it works really well for a small broadcast truck like us. Keep on going, this is our rack. This houses all the equipment for the whole entire trailer. Um, this house is basically the big computer brains for the trailer uh, and it's where we plug into, it's where we do all of our work from uh, and it has a router and a switcher replay. It's gonna do the big taxing uh, operations for the trailer. Finally, this is our audio room. So the audio room is kind of back here by itself. It's secluded so that the audio guy can hear his mix and he's not distracting the people up front. Uh, we also have comms that you don't wanna overlap. We'll get into that in a later video. But this audio board uh, basically brings in all the mics on the field and they will mix the, the mics to their comfort level. So they'll have music, they'll have play-by-play -play color, sideline, they'll have field mics, they'll have crowd mics. And the job of this person is to make sure all of those mics sound good and they're at the right level. So you don't wanna hear a uh, crowd too loud, you wanna hear a crowd at the right level, and you wanna hear play-by-play -play and color at the right level. That's what this person's job is. So next up, this is the storage for the back of the trailer. So this trailer has two large storage cabinets. You'll see there's a whole bunch of shelving in the top, and then down here at the bottom, we have some more drawers where we can keep batteries and small equipment. In a lot of broadcast cases, we have a lot of really small pieces that we need to be able to keep organized. This drawer is great for it. Down low, we have some more rack drawers. Those are great, they ride really well. Uh, we can keep a lot of equipment, like small pieces in them. Uh, down here at the very, very bottom, we have our 12 volt battery system. And then this is our second shelf that keeps even more equipment. Down here is another rack drawer system with a little slot in pocket door for our fire extinguisher. So that wraps up the Raider Network broadcast trailer tour. So that's just a generic overview of what we do inside the trailer. For more videos and more technical descriptions of every single position and all the equipment and engineering that goes on inside this truck, please subscribe to the channel and we'll have videos coming out soon.